Pepto UK out here, East London, Canary Wall. Delight to be joined by the man himself. I'm looking for the strap. It's not here yet, man. No? But we're defending it in two nights time. It's gonna stay with me, man. But um, today's the press conference. Do you know what it is? I get to see my opponent today. Because yesterday I missed him, so today I get to see him. Um, see where we're at, see what we're dealing with. And then on um, Saturday night, it's business as yeah. usual. So I'm joined by my old, Good mate, good mate. We go way back, old school. Way back. Jalof Rice. Further than know, people know. 19. So, yeah, further than people know. But um, listen, it's good to be here. It's good to have you interviewing me today. I think I ain't been on your channel too much, but I'm not going to complain. Bro, you know what? We're just grinding out here, man. You know what? One thing we do, we, we support the come up. We're trying to come up ourselves, but mate. I've got to say, Josh, you, you're blown away your opponents and um, world recognition is not far away. You already got that WBA international strap with you. You already got that Lonsdale belt. Yeah. Life is good right now, I guess. I can't complain. I can never complain, man. Um, it's almost, I say to people, I feel blessed beyond expression. So um, I can't complain. But Saturday night again, everything's on the line. And um, I have to win, man. I have to win. So you're against uh, Ryan Ford from Edmonton, yeah. Alberta. I've got family out there. Yeah. He's giving me the full round I, I one. Hope I hope they're still supporting me, though. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they, they told me about they told me about Ryan Ford. They yeah. said he's a very durable guy. Yeah. Um, I checked him out. Um, he's been in there with some um, world-level fighters, Chudano. Mm. Um, he hardly gets stopped, and he's very durable overall. Yeah. It's going to be um, a tough night. It's not going to be easy, is it? I'll be in there, man. I'll be present every round. The difference is I'm not anyone that he's fought. Like, he's boxed world champions, X, Y, and Z. That's cool, but I'm not them. I'm my own different person. I'm my own different being. I bring something different to the table. So there's not much talking to do until the bell goes. And you can do all the talking, all the punching, anything you want to do. But um, you're right. He, we chose him because he's durable. So let's see how durable he is. Do you know, I feel like you're doing things um, the correct way. Obviously, you've had a long, good, uh, accomplished amateur career. Uh, went to the Olympics. What, what, what is a long, durable amateur career? For me, um, I would say about 50 fights. 50 fights okay, plus. Cool. Yeah, yeah. You know, you're, you're, you know, testing yourself against different styles. Yeah. Um, you've entered the pro game. You've done the British thing now. I don't know if you're going to defend it outright before going into World Honours, but I feel like you're doing it in a prog progressive manner that's giving you a solid platform yeah, when you do fight for a world title. Yeah, I feel, I feel there's a lot of homework to be done and you have to do things the right way. And you can't watch what other people are doing and then try, try and change what you're doing based on that. I believe benchmarking is important in life see what other people are doing, see what the competitors are doing, but don't then change what you're doing. Get an idea of what levels are and where you should be or where you could be, but don't change what you're doing. Stick to the plan that you've got. Um, and I always say to people, like before the Olympic Games, no one was dictating who I fight, when I fight. I was in a great Britain team, I was in the right fights at the right time, and um, ultimately I boxed at the highest level as an amateur, so you got to take your time. Man. It's mad because I remember your old man was telling me from time, Mm. My son, my son, he's a fighter, he's doing yeah, really, really well, he's going to go to the Olympics. For sure, for sure. Years down the line now, you're on these big shows mm. with titles, mm. um, potentially on the verge of a, you know, a, um, a world title shot in the future. Um, I think you're heading in the right direction, you know what I mean? Good head on your shoulders as well. And uh, a lot of people out there in the, in the gyms, they say, you know what, Josh, Josh Bowets, he's the guy, he's the one, he's the one. It's yet to be proven. Do you know what I mean? There, there, there's a lot of good talks, which is good. It's always good when there's good talks. There's still some bad talks, but I feel that I haven't proven myself yet. Mm. So I, I don't like to take the role where you sit as if you've achieved everything, because I haven't. Do you know what I mean? I've got a version of the WBA. It's not the real world title. I've got a British title. That's at British level. I've got an Olympic medal. Very prestigious things to have, but I feel there's more that I can achieve, and then it will give me more of a leg to stand on to then talk about a few other things. But I feel like I haven't achieved what I'm going to achieve yet. Lastly, would you reckon if uh, I think you know where I'm going now? Yard against Kovalev. 
gave a good account of himself. Like, there's, like I think I think people want me to say something negative, but for me, I watched and I thought, big up yourself, respect yeah, yeah, yeah. to you. So, so I don't think that, for, from my perspective, there's, no, there's nothing negative to say about it. Like I said, he gave a good account of himself. It would have been nice if he had finished the fight on his feet, but unfortunately he didn't. But other than that, full respect to him, man. There's nothing. I don't think there's anything negative to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, how do you think you would have got on against Kovalev, just to conclude? I mean, at this stage yeah. of your career. I know it's I, hard to say, yeah, but... Yeah, I, I feel being outside the ropes is very easy to point finger and be yeah, like, oh, yeah, yeah. I would have stopped him, I would have done this, I would have done that. But I just feel that if I have a man hurt like that in the eighth, I know what I'm capable mm -hmm. of. Um, and that would be it. But other than that, it's very easy to say outside the ropes to talk, to comment, to say what you would do or what the other guy's not good at. So um, if it does ever happen, then I, that's the best chance I have to show what I can do. But um, like I said, man, full credit to you. Mr. Josh Wetsy, it's been a pleasure as always. Appreciate Just that. Just remember, man. after you win the fight on Saturday, you can tap into someone at Jalof Rice. Hey. <laughs> I've, <laughs> been on, I've been on a bad fast. It's going to be mad. It's going to be mad. It's going to be mad. My guy, Appreciate Josh Wetsy. Subscribe, Pep Talk UK. My guy.